Hello, welcome to another Better Wars in my channel. Today we're going to look at Star Wars A New Hope vs. A Force Awakens. The Force Awakens. Basically, episode 4 vs. episode 7. As you may recall, I had a show called Secret Fight, but because I had basically decided to just not produce that anymore, I took this topic and made it one of the better worst topics basically you can say whatever you want about it but anyway why did I chose to the new, a new hope versus a for, the force awakens well they are actually kind of similar in storyline so topic number one are going to be storyline <laughs> both movies start uh, on a desert planet this is Kinda of stupid. Uh, in the first one we have Luke. We see him uh, living on the planet, um, working with his uncle, or I think it's his uncle. And basically, he finds a his uncle buys a droid, some droids. One of the droids have a message that is from. Uh, Princess Leia. Uh, of course, I didn't mention that in the first one we see a fight. In the first one, in on the hope it is fight between ships, and in the Force of Force Awakens it is basically not ships, but it is a fight between uh, the First Order's army. I can't the clone army, but they aren't clones. Basically, they have the same. Outfits and the rebels or a uh, camp basically. Uh, but the droid is basically having a message to a important person that is the same in the Force Awakens because they also have a message to an important person and they both need to go to a, another person <laughs> that is kind of similar. Is we meet. In the Force Awakens we have Rey, that is instead of Luke, and after watching the Force Awakens it kind of seems like she is her, she is Luke's daughter. They never said it but maybe episode 8 maybe answered that, but anyway, they continue like that. They meet up with another person, they try to flee the planet, they do with uh, the Millennium Falcon, that is similar. Uh, the difference is that in the Force Awakens, uh, Han Solo isn't on the ship in the beginning, but he, he they will meet a bit up, up with him later, but anyway. Later on, we will see them going to the Rebels, the Rebels want to destroy the big uh, Death Star, this one in the Force Awakens is basically a Death Planet and the way they're gonna destroy it is similar because it is a small hatch in A New Hope, in this one it is a small platform. It is ridiculous how similar that is but anyway, they continue, they succeed and then they basically split up. In the A New Hope, these are different because they just don't split up. But in The Force Awakens, they split up. Rey goes out to find Luke. In A New Hope, they basically stand on the ship looking out the window. And that is how the both movies end. In my honest opinion, both movies are excellent when it comes to the storyline. It is weird that they are so similar when it comes to basic plot points, which basically drags down. Of the Force Awakens a little bit when it comes to, in my opinion, quality. But overall, the win of this topic are going to be the Force Awakens. The reason for that, in my opinion, is even though A New Hope is this classic first ever Star Wars movie, the Force Awakens have a more intriguing storyline, in my opinion. It, it stands out a little bit more, even though it is following the same 
acts or basic storyline that the A New Hope had. It feels a little bit more refreshing and more fun to watch that one than it was watching A New Hope. Topic number three, uh, two are going to be effects and environments. The veteran lines are great in both movies, in my opinion. Uh, of course, A New Hope have a little bit age on it, but that doesn't drag it down at all. But it is really good uh, effects, really good environments in that movie. The same is with The Force Awakens. Of course, they have a little bit more to work with now, when they have computer animation and so on. But both stands out equally good, so these are going to be a tie. And for people so that is wondering, I have the A New Hope on DVD, but I have borrowed. I have someone is borrowing it for me, so I couldn't find it. So anyway, topic number three are going to be let's see villain. The villain looks kind of the same uh, the spoiler here is that the villain in the force awakens is han solo's and leia's son uh, that is basically having the same kind of outfit like darth vader the only thing that the only thing is that he doesn't have any disability uh, in the in the only hope we know that he were burnt to a to the degree that he needed some uh, help with the breathing. That is what I actually took up when watching uh, the third one. This. Uh, and watching A New Hope. A New Hope. I, it feels kind of that way. Uh, Darth Vader in A New Hope and Carrie. I can't remember. Sorry for that. They look really similar, but in my opinion, the win of this topic are going to be A New Hope. In, in my opinion, the villain stands out more because of the Darth Vader and the Emperor. Even though the Emperor isn't that much in the movie, uh, he stands. It, this movie stands out more because of these villains. The Force Awakens are trying to replicate that with this new order, they call it, with a big mean looking guy that is kind of the emperor but an alien this time i don't know if the emperor was an alien but and this han solo and Leia's son that basically is darth vader it is kind of similar in that way but a new hope edges out uh, the force awakens and topic number four the final one are going to be main characters main characters in the first movie is basically uh, Luke Skywalker, Leia, Princess Leia, Han Solo, Chewbacca, R2D2, C3PO, and so on and so on. Darth Vader is a main character, but a villain. Uh, the Force Away, they are really good, really great acting, great everything. The Force Awakens have Ray, Finn, the old characters. I think that's it, actually. They added two new characters. And Luke isn't in the movie, for the most part. Um, I really like them, the um, characters in The Force Awakens, because they are a little bit more fun to watch, a little more entertaining, but on the hope, are great acting and so on. It's a hard to decide between these two, so in my opinion, it is a tie. The characters in both movies are excellent acted, excellently portrayed, and it is hard to different those two when it comes to quality in acting and so on, when it comes to character, so I don't want to choose any of them, so yeah. And the ultimate winner of this topic are going to be The Force Awakens. In my opinion, the Force Awakens is a little bit more refreshing than the Hope. Of course, it is the newest one instead of the one that is some close to 40 years, I think. Uh, even though the Hope is a classic, uh, the Force Awakens storyline 
even if it follows a new hope a lot it is really cool and really in intriguing to watch that kind of storyline uh, when it comes to effects and magnets they are equal but uh, but when it comes to main characters which is one of the main points um, the force awakens etches out a new hope even though the villain is also as important the force awakens edges out because of the main characters being more interesting and more fun in the force awakens not really anyway that's all for today folks so see you next time bye